Let's start from question number 30. A small sphere of radius R falls from rest in viscous liquid. As a result, heat is produced due to viscous force. The rate of production of heat, that is basically power, when the sphere attains its terminal velocity is proportional to. Here are the options. Let's solve them. So, power is given by force into velocity, right? What force is this? This is viscous force. The formula for viscous force is 6 pi eta r v, right? So, if I apply this 6 pi eta r v and this v also, so it becomes what? v square, right? And as all we know is terminal velocity is proportional to square of radius, right? So, by this if I incorporate here, p is proportional to r into v square. Now, this velocity would be terminal velocity. So, this is also terminal velocity as question says terminal velocity. So, p is r into r square whole square. So, p is proportional to r power 5, right? Let us see which option is the answer. So, fourth option. So, correct answer to this question is option 4, right? Let us move forward. Let us start with question number 31. This question belongs to thermodynamics where a sample of 0.1 gram of water at 100 degree centigrade and normal pressure of 1.013 to 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square requires 54 calorie of heat, okay, to convert it into steam at 100 degree centigrade. So, this is basically a conversion process, right? And the volume of steam produced is this much. So, initially there was no steam. Now, 167.1 cc of steam is there. The change in internal energy of the sample is being asked. These are the options. Let us do the solution. As per work done, what would be the work done? P delta V. What is the pressure involved is 1.013 into 10 to power 5 since it is in standard units, not an issue of conversion. Now, volume. Volume has changed 167.1 minus initially there is nothing and since it is in centimeter cube, so for conversion into meter cube, it is 10 to the power minus 6, right? This is the work done. Now, if we talk about heat given to a system, it is equals to 54 calorie, right? So, in conversion, 54 calories should be multiplied with 4.18 in converting to joule. So, we have the heat, we have the work done. What is the formula? So, we have to find delta U. Now, delta U, we have to first law of thermodynamics. Use karna so, Q is equals to delta U plus W. Yahan se delta U would be Q minus W. Values put kar denge, humne jo nikali hai. 208.79 joules. Let us see what the correct option would be. It would be second option. So, answer to this question would be option 2. Correct? Let us move forward. 